Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. My dog's with me, so if you can hear weird licking noises, it's him, not me. Right, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you, um, we're gonna be doing a decal, no, we're not doing a decal. We're gonna be doing a set showing off these cute new copy cake decals from Nail Sugar. Karen has actually just released three new sets of decals. These are the second one. I think that's called Soda Pop. I can't see because the recording box is in the way, but how cute are these little cans of soda? I love them. That's the website, by the way, www.nailsugar.co.uk. And these ones are little coloured tea bags, which I think are so cute. These ones are called iced tea. You can save 10% on anything on Nail Sugar's website using my code NATMUG10. These are the three new lots of decals. I love new decal day. It's the best day. <laughs> so we're going to be using these today. We're going to show you these first. The colours that I've chosen are from Madame Glam. I have got four colours, unless you don't count the white one. I've got Pink Frenzy, B-Day Bash. These two are from the new collection. Um, Matty, that's quite an old one now. And Bold White was from the Independence Day, the 4th of July collection that, that they released. Um, my Perfect White is running out, but I actually really like this one. It's really nice. So also in this one, you get the new brush. It's like a short, shorter rounded brush. It's really nice. Um, also there's men outside doing they're chopping the bushes down and stuff so you might hear wind wind blowers leaf blowers and stuff look that was just one coat oh, I love it right we're gonna put an, a coat on all four of the nails then we are going to pop them into the lamp and cure them for 60 seconds and then we're going to do a second coat and then we are going to cure that for 60 seconds but I absolutely love these colours, uh, the, the consistency and the pigmentation of these gel polishes. I just really, I just really enjoy them. Right, so these are the decals. You have to pick the ones that you want and then cut the ones that you want out off the sheet. And don't worry at the minute, um, I just cut off the ones that I want to start with. And then once you've done that, you're going to have to cut off all of that excess around from the actual design. You literally just want the design left over. You don't want all that excess paper um, left on it. So, so you've literally just got that apart from that little bit at the top. So there you go. You're going to do that on all of them. So we've got our four decals ready. I use a stamper now. So I will place the decal upside down on the stamper. And then I'm going to dab my cleanup brush into a little bit of water and you just dab the back of the decal and the decal will slowly suck up some of that water. You don't want to put masses on, you just you just need to, to, to moisten it slightly, it just needs to be slightly damp. Can you see how wet that is? And it sort of soaks up the water and this is in real time. And eventually, look, the backing will just slide off and you can take that off. I will dab the decal with my finger just to get off any excess moisture. But you might get hairs or bits of fluff on it, just to be aware. Now, this gel polish isn't very tacky. So I stamped it on nice and slowly to make sure that it would stick to the nail. Sometimes Madame Glam gel polishes aren't that tacky. Sometimes I don't even have a tacky layer. I don't know i don't know why i wonder if it's probably their new formula i'm not sure but anyway we're gonna do the other ones now so again i just dampen the back of the decal upside down on the stamper and this is sped up times two so you can see just how quick it is and i love these decals because if you do salon nails you usually have like when you're doing salon nails you usually want like a quick turnaround, don't you? Because, you know, do you know what I mean? So these decals just make your nail art really quick and really simple. And yeah, pips, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. This is the third one. I chose four different ones because I wanted to do, I wanted them all to be different. You could choose the same ones if you wanted, but do bear in mind you might not have the same, like these bigger ones. I think there was only two of each one. So 
yet you couldn't do five on unless you bought several sheets of decals you could do that you could just decal yourself up and this will be the last one going on sometimes you get little bits of hair on the stamper even when you roll it with a lint-free roller which is really annoying but it is what it is i think that's the nature of doing nails isn't it the bits of fluff and stuff come out from nowhere <laughs> okay so once we've done that we're going to work on adding the detail to the nails so i'm going to put three little blobs of one of each of the colors that i've chosen for this design the i'm starting with the blue you can start with any color it doesn't really matter but two of the nails are going to be stripey and two of the nails are going to be sprinkles you can decide which you want to do so i am going to leave this whole nail in I've just sped it up times two so that it doesn't yeah I think if I'd have left it in real time it just would have been a bit boring so I've sped it up times two but I'm gonna start in the middle with the blue when I move on to the next color I do just wipe the bristles in between my paper towel that I've got on my desk I don't if you want to clean it properly you could run it through some base coat and then squidge it between um, a lint free wipe just to remove the excess base coat and pigment that's left in the bristles but because I am do it I'm because I'm doing this design I just literally just want to get off the majority of the last color before I move into the next one so I'm leaving a slight gap between the the lines now we're going to give the cupcakes on the stripy nails we're going to give them a border in Madame Glam's gold gel paint so if you are more comfortable doing it the other way around like I'm putting the stripes on first you might want to put the gold outline on first and then that will give you a guide for your stripes but I am envisioning or imagining the gold border already around the outside of my cupcake as I do the stripes so this stripe is obviously going to come further down the nail than the one right above the top of the cupcake so do bear that in mind when you're painting the stripes on I think that should make sense I think that makes sense you know what I mean um, so that's that one done that can go in the lamp for 60 seconds and we're going to do the same on one more of those then for the second half of the design well the second the last two nails i suppose we're just going to add some little sprinkles which are literally just really short stumpy lines now bear in mind you want to get three colors on so i'm not going to complete i'm not going to space these too tightly and i also want to add some gold ones as well so i have to when i'm placing the sprinkles i have to remember that i'm also going to be adding gold ones on as well so i want to make sure that i've got enough room and again i'm just going to do a little mix of all three of those colors on the palette and then i will show you the gold in a minute by the way how nice is this pink i love it it's nice i like the purple as well obviously okay so when you've done that i would pop that in the lamp for at least a what do you call it a flash cure but i would just give it give them all a cure for 60 seconds so that's where we are so far this is madam glam's gold gel paint when i finally get it out my drawer i love this this is my absolute favorite it's got the most gorgeous shimmer in it you might need to give it a mix depending on how often you use it sometimes some of the color does sort of float on the top so again with this one we're just going to do the sprinkles this one is nice and easy I think the sprinkle design just goes really well with the cupcakes because often you have sprinkles on icing don't you and I just thought yeah it's nice nice and easy do the same on this one now with Madame Glam gel paints because they are more pigmented they do need 60 seconds in the lamp but that said so does the gel polish now so it's no different really <laughs> it's all 60 seconds now Oh, my little puppy dog's lying with me and he's so cute he's so cute right this is the this is the border one so i'm going to just sort of use the line the stripes that i've put on there already as a, a bit of a guide now depending on how 
you might have to make the border a little bit thicker depending on where your lines finish but you might have to make it thicker just to cover any um like if your lines if your stripes aren't quite where you want them if you make the border a little bit thicker it kind of covers up any mistakes i think do you know what i mean i think you know what i mean and then this one i wanted to make this one as close to the other size of the border as i possibly could because otherwise they would look a little bit it would look silly if one oval was a lot bigger than the other one um, they were slightly different sizes but i think they were close enough that hopefully it won't make a massive difference there you go i don't think that's too bad so they go in the lamp for 60 seconds then at this point i usually show you the nail design because i usually use the gel paint on top of a top coated nail but because i haven't top coated i'm actually going to use the glossy top coat today so this is madame glam's no wipe top coat i'm doing a set of shiny nails i can't believe it <laughs> So do that on all of them, obviously, and then pop them in the lamp for 60 seconds. And then that is them done. I really thought, I thought these were super cute. I'll show you a quick close up. There you go, that's them finished. I hope you like this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. God bless, love you all, and I'll see you in the next one. Love you, bye.